What's going on everybody? Ryan with CPP Tech. Today we're actually going to do something just a tad bit different. Um, I know I do a lot of tech stuff, so this kind of falls in the realm. It's been brought to my attention that uh, there's a lot of people out there that have Spectrum for their internet, phone, TV, and this video here is going to actually go over the Spectrum TV app. Uh, there's a lot of people that had questions about how to actually use it, so I'm going to, it's probably going to be long, but I'm going to try to do a tutorial on how to actually navigate through the app where you can find your guide, the best way to use the guide, the on-demand, uh, if you have a cloud DVR, how to record and how to uh, access those recordings when you do so. So I'm going to try to put chapters in the video. This will be my first time trying. If there's not chapters, I apologize. And I'll just try to actually put down below on timestamps on when it is if I can't get the chapters figured out. So without further ado, what I'm actually going to do is you're going to have your, your Roku remote. So now some of this stuff is going to be able to translate over to the Apple TV or the Samsung TV. But this is primarily on the Roku as far as the remote's concerned, but where you find a lot of this stuff in the app is gonna be true to those other two formats as well. Your remote has a keypad with an up, down, left, right, okay in the center, and on the top left, there's a button that's back button. You'll be utilizing these most of all. With Spectrum Guide, it's easier than ever to find something to watch. All right, so we're going to start with the guide first. And when you press the left arrow once, this guide comes up, right? If you press it again, this one comes up. So you can actually scroll down on each individual one on the down button. All channels, recent channels, favorites, locals, movies, sports, news, lifestyle, family, premiums, or music and Latino. So if you want to watch the news, you know, you can highlight that and then press the middle button, okay. And now this is gonna pop up with all the news stations that are in your package. And then to get into it, you can press okay. We're gonna go into the weather station real quick because I'm sure I won't get copyright for that. So we'll press okay. And then it'll go to the to that station. Okay, so now what you're gonna do to locate the other guide, which this is the guide I recommend going to, is up on the top left-hand corner, you have an arrow that's, that's pointing to the left. Click that, and then on your screen, you should see Live TV, Guide, My Library, and On Demand. If you go down to your keypad and go to the right, and then highlight that guide, press OK, this other guy is going to come up. So now right now it's showing all channels. So and then you can actually scroll to later times. Um, unfortunately, I can't go by day. I wish I could go by day, but I can't go by day. So this is what, how you're going to find stuff that you're going to want to record. We'll, we'll tap into that here in a little bit. So, let's get back over. Now, right now it shows all channels. But do you remember earlier on that last one where I was telling you guys you can choose the network or favorites or locals or movies or whatnot? So if you go down here to, let's say, locals, press OK. Now it's just going to show the locals in the guide. One last thing on this guide, if you actually press rewind or fast forward, it will actually move the guide up a few at a time. So you can scroll through the guide a little bit faster than, than just going one at a time, right? So that's it for the guide. We're gonna move on to the next. The Spectrum Guide offers instant access to thousands of movies and shows on demand. So we're going to actually go back up to that, that arrow on the top that points to the left. And then we're going to go over to On Demand. Okay? So On Demand, we're going to go into there. 
This doesn't only have just stuff that, that you pay for, it has free stuff. So if you subscribe to any of these channels, you get this stuff free. But what I like to do is go all the way over to networks, because half the time you know what network your TV show's on, so you play, find the network and then um, you go down until you find the network in which you want, right? So, there's Discovery. Let's go ahead and find something on Discovery. You highlight it, you press the OK button, and now here's all the TV shows on Discovery that is playing. So we're gonna go Air Jaws, Going Gold. No, we're gonna go After the Catch. Press OK. And then we can either do this, watch the season six, episode four, or go over here to episodes. And you're going to utilize that keypad, left, right, up, down, and OK. So we're going to press OK. And there's three episodes on here. So we can press one, three, and four, four. It looks like they don't have one, two. Or it looks like they don't have episode two. But so now you've got that highlighted. We're only going to play this for a second because I don't want to get in trouble. And press OK, and it'll start playing. So now down here at the bottom, you got your pause, fast forward, rewind. That pause, I can press pause, and it'll, it'll pause it. Now, if you look on the screen down on the, on the uh, time bar, you'll see these black dots. That's where all these commercials are at. Unfortunately, you know, that's how you get it free is they put, they put ads in the middle of them. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do is go up to that arrow button to the left on the top by the home and press that and it should take you out of that. And then press it again and again, it takes you back. That's gonna be your back button on this. So now say you want, you want kids, scroll all the way up to the top and then you can highlight kids and oops you can highlight kids and it'll show all the kids stuff movies it'll show all movies and then tv shows it'll show all the tv shows the tv shows the movies and the kids are kind of kind of cool because you don't have to go through the networks but the tv shows i would recommend going through the networks before you went through just the tv shows you're more likely looking for a specific uh, network or tv show than you are just going through this so we're going to go back that'll be that top that top left button take control of your tv schedule with spectrum dvr we're going to go over this My Library here real quick. So My Library pretty much well shows what you've, what you've watched, your recordings, and then if you created a watch list, that's where it's going to be at. So we recorded Mad Madagascar, so it recorded it, and this is where you would go to actually find your recordings. If you don't have anything recorded, there won't be nothing here. So I want to go back to the guide real quick. And then I'm going to find something here to record. So let's go ahead and just record the weather channel. I'm going to press OK. And then on this feature here, we're going to go up. Now you see it says record. Whoops. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to record. Down here it says original stop time and then keep until space is needed. You'll have to check with, with your local spectrum office or what have you. Maybe they might be able to tell you how much space you have to record on the cloud DVR or just call in and they should be able to tell you. So you can either have a stop at the original time or three minutes late. Say there's a basketball game or a baseball game. It looks like it'll let you go an hour late, two hours, original stop time. So up to two hours late. Uh, or on the regular DVR, you can actually record five minutes early too, but apparently they won't let you do that on this one. So now I'm up on record, highlight record, 
press OK, and now it's going to start recording recording the uh, weather channel. So now I'm going to go back up to that back button on the top left. So I'm going to go to Guide and press Guide. Now let's say I want to record something later on. So let's do something else. Okay, let's go to, let's say locals, or better yet, let's go to family. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's say we want to record something on Nickelodeon. Now, well, let's, let's go down to Teen Titans. Okay, now let's say we want to record Teen Titans Go. I'm going to press OK. And then it's going to give me episodes, watch list, remember the watch list, or record. I'm going to press record, and then it's going to ask you if you want to record a series or just record that episode. You choose which one you want to do. If I press record series, it should give me the option of only new, uh, channel 45, original start time, stop time, until space is needed, just like the other one. So I'm going to actually cancel this because I really don't want to record Teen Titan, but I hope you get the idea of this. So we're going to press OK. We're going to use that top left back button. That top left, back, that top left back button will get you back to where, where you need to go to. So... Um, we're going to go over to my library again, and then we're going to take a look and see if Strange's Weather is on there. So that one's recording right now. So see, it says recording now. If I press OK, I can either go over to the right and delete recording, or I can press OK and start watching it. Now, I recorded it really horrible because... I got this cheap Roku, Roku box just to do this video for you guys. Um, it's a $30 Roku and I highly recommend not getting a $30 Roku. You get what you pay for when you do that. Now I'm just going to press the back button and I'm going to go over to delete recordings. So I'm going to delete that. It says keep recording or delete recording because it's recording right now. I'm going to press OK. And it's deleted it. So now if you go back down here to recordings, now all I have is my Madagascar on there. Want a quick and easy way to see what's playing on your favorite channels? Create a favorites list with the Spectrum Guide. Okay, now we're going to show you guys how to set up your favorites. So again, we're going to go up to that button on the top left, press that, and then scroll over to Guide, press OK. And then we're going to use the left button to go over. And then when you highlight each network here, right, if you press OK, it'll add to your favorites. So you see the heart? It filled in. If I, un, uh, if I press OK again, it'll, it'll look like it's hollow. So if you press OK when you highlight it, that's going to set up your favorites. All right? So now whenever you go over here to this this list of recent channels, favorites, locals, or what have you. If you go to favorites, everything that you had put into your favorites will show up on this. So if you go back to the, the normal guide that we have when you first come up, and you press over to the left and press it again, your favorites will all be right there. It's just a little bit of clarification on how to use the spec guide. I have searched and searched and searched. There's nobody out there that has anything of a tutorial on how to actually utilize that. So hope that was helpful. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your buddies. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of tech stuff on here for those who are just coming in to watch this tutorial because I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that are watching this that has no interest in this. And there'll be a lot of people in here that that does have interest in all this as well. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. That's screwed. Bye.